This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with a CBS 4 News update. Some of the women who have accused Jeffrey Epstein of sexual assault had their voices heard in court today. The judge presiding over the federal sex trafficking case invited Epstein's accusers to speak at a hearing Tuesday. Multiple women were seen arriving at the New York City courtroom with their lawyers and families. The unusual hearing was held to discuss protection efforts to dismiss the indictment against Epstein in the wake of his death. Nearly 30 women were able to speak. As the world watches the fires devastate state the Amazon, the Brazilian government is saying no thank you to an offer from G7 nations for aid. Brazil's president says he needs an apology from the president of France before he would accept any money from the G7 nations. President Jair Bolsonaro says during a several days of heated spats, France's president called him a liar and questioned Brazil's sovereignty. So far, the G7 has pledged $20 million to protect the rainforest from the fires, but Bolsonaro's chief of staff says the money would be better spent reforesting Europe. First, it was Burger King's Impossible Whopper. Now it's KFC's Kentucky Fried Miracles. The fried chicken chain is partnering with Beyond Meat for a new plant-based menu offering. The fried chicken miracle is only available at one store in Georgia, where it's being tested right now. Depending on customer feedback, the chain could expand the test to other markets. Now, CBS4 weather. And I'm meteorologist Craig Setzer, of course, all eyes on Dorian now in the Eastern Caribbean Sea, moving through the Leeward Islands there and headed to the Northwest. Here's the satellite loop as of Tuesday afternoon. Now, things change with tropical systems, so it's important to stay up to date with the latest information. You can go to cbsmiami.com slash tropics for that. But there is the satellite presentation as we go through the afternoon there. And here was the latest uh, intermediate advisory as of 2 p.m. on Tuesday, winds at 50 miles an hour, moving to the west northwest at 13. Of course, the big story is going to be over the next day. How does Dorian fend off wind shear and dry air, especially the dry air? But then after that, what is going to be the impact of the northernest mountainous islands of the Northern Caribbean there, Puerto Rico, and especially Hispaniola, part of the Dominican Republic there? Is that going to disrupt the storm enough so that it weakens or even falls apart? Or could it survive a passage there uh, Wednesday night through the Mona Passage? Could it survive a transit there and uh, come out on the other side into low shear and very warm water temperatures where we might have a strengthening tropical storm on the other side through the Bahamas and headed towards Florida? At this point, about equal possibilities anywhere through the peninsula of Florida. So this is definitely something we are just going to have to watch and watch very closely. Elliot? Craig, thank you. That's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.